right, hello YouTube, this is Ahoy. So, in this week's tutorial, I will be demonstrating the Waves NS1 Noise Suppressor plugin that they just released. Let's start with what is NS1. NS1 is a Noise Suppressor plugin. So, it is similar to the Waves X Noise, C Noise, WNS, and other similar products. But the main difference is that this only has one knob, as you can see here. So it's very similar how Arvox only has one knob for the gate. And I am going to demonstrate to you how the sound is getting suppressed on vocals and on guitar. Let's first start with the vocals. I'm using actually a new vocal chain. So write down in the comments how do you think it sounds compared to the older videos. So first I'm going to the SPL uh, track 1 preamp and then I'm going to the NS1. So it is really using some of my noise. So this is without the NS1 and without the gate here. So you might hear a bit more room if you are using headphones now. So let's put this one back and turn this back on. That, and as you can see, it's very gentle and transparent, and it's not super obstructive. And after that, I have the Waze Vocal Rider. It's really cool on broadcast vocals. And after that, I have a special trick that I actually was thinking when I was doing the video, because I heard my strings through the microphone, for I'll bypass the plugin. So you might have heard my guitar through there. What I figured out is that from the guitar channel, I will use a sidechain send to the C1 compressor. So every time I play my guitar, It will turn down the vocal microphone by 20 dB, so it's basically ducking my voice every time I'm doing guitar. So basically this will reduce the artifacts from the guitar. And I think it sounds kind of kind of cool. And after that I have the R-Box just for the gate and just a bit of compressor. So to give my voice a bit more definition. And I hope you like how this sounds, at least I like it myself. So let's move on to the guitar bus. There I have first a guitar tuner that comes stuck with Cubase and um, it, I have it disengaged when it's not in use. Then I have the free tube screamer pedal from Ignat Audio. And after that I'm using the NS1 and then I am using the Waves GTR. This is otherwise like the default settings but i just changed the type to monster so let's see here how it sounds okay so let's start by turning off NS1. So this is how it sounds with the NS1 off. We have a noise floor of minus 30 dB, which is kind of a lot. So I'm using the Noise suppressor between the plugins because I noticed that it was the most effective there. So you find it under restoration in Cubase. And as you noticed when I turn it on, it, even though the meter says zero, it's actually already doing something when I have the guitar turned off. So when I open my guitar, it's hovering around there. So let's turn this up. I think I don't remember why I hide it, but uh, let's try.
Okay, so now you heard that it learned so-called my noise level. Let's turn this up. And we hear that it's, you know, not doing too much. So let's take it off and put it back again. Because this is kind of like a, an intelligent plugin, so it learns the material. So if I have the uh, noise re reduction fader up higher, it reduces it a lot more. So let's try it now. Okay, as you can hear now, it's hovering a bit higher. So let's turn the fader now down. Maybe 35 or something. Yeah, and now it learned that I wanted more uh, gain reduction. And when I set the fader to the same, it gives you more reduction. So it might require you to restart the plugin to get more gain reduction. But other than that, I really like how it sounds. It's very, very similar how I use the bus NS2 on my live setup. So I think you guys should really check out the plugin yourself. Anyway, I hope this demonstration was useful to you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I make new videos every week. And thank you for watching and make good music.